Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today I decided to do an unboxing in the shop since I don't really film out here that much other than the usual videos, but uh, I just decided to take a break from the Demco 20S that I'm currently working on and I went to go check the mail and a knife that I've been patiently been waiting for has arrived. So uh, there was a little mix up prior to this one, but I'll get into it once I unbox it. So uh, I will be unboxing it with the Kershaw Tumbler. Uh, this is a Sinkovich design. Just an awesome, awesome knife and really budget friendly. I just love the belly on this blade and how much cutting edge you get. I mean, just compared to the handle, it almost looks like you have more blade than handle. Again, very comfortable. But we're not going to be talking about this knife. Uh, let's get into the Real Steel Furrier. I think that's how you say it. But uh, since I love bellies on blades, it's one of my favorite things on a knife. Um, this one, you guys are going to understand why I like it so much. So, get the uh, peanuts, peanuts out of the way. And then, uh, yeah, so here we go. Here's the box. And I got to say, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. You have that, I don't know if the camera could pick it up, that shiny kind of, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's got a full texture to it. So, let's see, nothing else in the box. Let's see what we get in here. Okay. Now this one, again, was mixed up with another one, but uh, Michael on the Instagram account, I guess he takes care of that, uh, was able to help me uh, get in contact with Justin and I think less than an hour I was able to send this knife back and get what I wanted I think it was more of a real steel mix-up I don't think it was white mountain knives just really weird but here we go Let's see if there's anything special in here get a cleaning cloth the real steel logo that's pretty cool uh, silica gel keep the moisture out and then just a little little pamphlet I guess of how to take care of it something like that but anyways let's get to the knife and again this caught my attention because a lot of belly you're gonna see why here in just a second but yes exactly what I was expecting and as you guys can see right there just a beautiful belly on this blade it's a Skinner blade but awesome awesome knife and of course you have the uh, the ring in the back to uh, place your finger in there and just kind of let it hang down and do what you got to do um, I think even just regular you can hold it with the pinky so you don't lose it you know, drop it do what you got to do and then I'm not gonna get crazy but you know get back to skinning or food prep but I got the wood I forgot what wood I think it says on the package uh, doesn't say what type of wood, but uh, got the wood version. I know they have a red micarta. Uh, I just don't. I think they were out of stock. Uh, I'll leave a link down below where you guys can pick one of these up. But just a really, really nice blade. I believe it's N690. Yep, you guys can see right there. It's an Ivan D. Brigannets design. But yeah, there it is. It's really, really cool. Oh, there's his logo. Um, I love, I love the amount of jimping you get. I mean, it goes to all the way to the beginning of the harpoon on the top there. And then, I might say midway, in the middle of the, the knife. And then you do get some jimping here in the back, right behind that ring. Just really, really nice. Very, very comfortable. Uh, I don't even need that ring to actually get a firm grip on it. But it is nice to have that ring. Again, drop it, do what you're doing, and get back to business. But uh, Oh, there's even a little jimping right here for the sharpening soil. Um, really, really cool blade. Let's look at the sheath, leather sheath. It's actually really nice. Smells like leather. Get the logo, get the two bands for, the, um, for your belt. And it sits nicely in there. It's not snug, so it will fall out. 
but yeah there it is very very uh clean and simple design that's what caught my attention and mainly that belly so i guess we can do a paper cut test i do have some paper right up here I'm assuming, assuming it's sharp. Oh yeah. And I'm in the shop, so I don't even have to pick up the paper. No, I like to have a clean shop. Even to the tip, it's sharp. So yes, very, very nice. Very pleased with it. Again, there was that mix-up with uh, uh, the previous knife that came in. And again, I think it was real steel's fault because there were just a lot of smudges on the blade as well. But thank you, Michael and Justin, for the awesome customer service. That's why I like White Mountain Knives so much. Um, but yeah, there is the real steel Furrier. And appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for the support. And I will see you guys on the next one.